So I have made it to Kentuckuk Lake in Ridge, New Hampshire, I think it's called. And this is where the eighth event for Slay Nation New Hampshire is going to be. Now this tournament specifically is your five longest fish and minimum length is 12 inches. Fish from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. And basically any small boat vessel under 16 feet is allowed a john boat a kayak a canoe it's pretty cool about this league now it's only 5 30 in the morning right now so i got plenty of time before we launch that's kind of what i wanted it was a long drive to get here and i wanted a good parking spot and last tournament i was lucky enough to win that one so hopefully i can carry some momentum over from that tournament here now i've never actually been to this lake before this was kind of a last minute decision and unfortunately i just worked every single day up until this tournament so i literally had no time to practice so i'm kind of fishing this tournament blind but i already have some spots in mind i looked at this lake on google maps and this place is super super weedy so i think if i can find the little bit deeper areas where there's not too much weeds and the water gets deeper i think i'll have a little bit better success for success there especially because there are smallmouth in this lake as well All right, so like I said, I have never been here before, so I just have a feeling it's going to be kind of another junk fishing type of tournament. I think I'm going to start with Old Faithful, the Wacky Rig. This is a Green Pumpkin Maxent General, and uh, since me and my buddy haven't really been here before, we're not going to go too far from the boat ramp. Um, we're just going to kind of start in this shallow weedy cove and then work our way down this shoreline here where it gets a little bit deeper. Let's switch from the wacky worm to this valley hill buggy back i honestly don't know why but i have not used this lure this year yet it's one of my favorite lures of all time this bait has caught me some giant small mouth and i will just throw this around for a little bit maybe get on a morning topwater bite Emergency room. No, 
lot. I've been reluctant. Switch back to the wacky. I'm gonna be switching over from this wacky worm right now. And I'm gonna be switching over to a drop shot. Now, so we've been fishing for over an hour and I have absolutely nothing to show for it. Might have gotten one sniff from a bluegill, but uh, that's about it. And this little has it on shed, the color is called Dobie. Fifteen and a half. I mean, there's two just right ahead of us. Oh, dude, that feels like a good one. like a 16. biggest fish by any means. I thought it was going to be like a 16 when it jumped out of the water, but that's another fish on the house of shed. It's 13 and a half in my age. Alright, so it is roughly 10 o'clock in the morning right now, 
And uh, me and my buddy have four fish. We're just one 12 inch away from a limit. And if we can catch that one 12 incher, I'll honestly be pretty happy with that considering neither of us have been here before. So far we have two 13 and a halves, a 16 and a half, and then an 18 and a half. Got one. I think it's a white perch. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this bluegill. Yeah. Big thump. Big bluegill. Somebody uh, caught a bass. Don't know how big it is yet. He said it's about 15-ish. Yeah, that's gonna help. That's gonna help. <laughs> Get him. Nice job, dude. Nice job, dude. Yeah, I think I got another 13. Nope, 12. 12 inch right there. All right, so it is about 2 p.m. right now. And we have a decent limit to show for. My buddy actually just called our smallest, which was a 14 with a 15, which is certainly going to help. Honestly, it really hasn't been that slow for me today. I just haven't really been catching any fish with size. My buddy, luckily, has been really catching some nice fish today. Really going to help us. I only have that one 16 and a half inch smallmouth towards our limit. Other than that, he has all of the four other fish. We have one more hour left in the tournament. And hopefully we can call that 15 and maybe even my 16. But uh, I'm gonna be just using a black and blue frog. Like that one. Nate and Zach, first place, 83 and three quarters. Second place, me and Matt, 81 and a quarter. Justin with 7650. So you guys heard the standings. Me and my buddy did manage to kind of squeak away with another win. Now that is back-to-back -back wins for us. That is definitely going to help for Angler of the Year standings. With that win, it did bump us up to second place overall for AOI. We still have a ways to go to beat the first place person. We can catch him, but we really do have to fish really good the next three tournaments if we want a chance to catch him. That being said, this tournament, I did not do a very good job of filming everything. I had a ton of GoPro issues and, and actually my chest can ended up getting the red light of death. 
So for the future videos, I don't know how that's going to affect them. I literally just have one GoPro that only works like half the time right now. I think if I can swing it, I'm going to pick up two new GoPros. I am just totally burnt out of using bad GoPros that only half works. It makes me not even want to film videos anymore. I really have to figure out that GoPro situation. Now, overall, I did decent this tournament. I did end up catching quite a few fish, but nothing big. A lot of fish around that 12, 13 inch range. All the fish I caught that tournament was either on a drop shot or a wacky worm. Now I was drop shotting two different baits, a Hazadong Shad in three inches, a Max Scent Flat Worm in 3.6 inches. Fortunately, I was able to contribute that one 16 and a half inch smally. Other than that, my partner really picked up my slack today and caught the four other fish. Overall can't really complain too much considering we both never actually went to that lake before. Now my buddy ended up catching all of his keepers on a Texas rigged Sanko. And if me and my partner can do good in all three of these tournaments, we have a chance of catching the first place person. That being said, the first place person has to not do so well. So there are a couple of variables that have to go kind of in our favor for us to come in first place. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Peace.